Afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, Monday, 27th of February 2017. Okay, in terms of um, the markets at present, um, we um, certainly seem to be having a risk off session in Europe, although US markets certainly very bullish going into Friday's close and overnight as well whilst Asian markets certainly moving lower. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of fundamentals today, uh, like I said, Asian markets certainly lower, certainly not buying the US-led rally. Uh, European session as well, certainly shifting lower now, although it was higher initially on the back of US equities, certainly pushing higher uh, on the back of uh, negation of the BAT, the uh, the border adjustment tax certainly being downplayed and also talk of uh, Mr. Trump uh, unveiling some details on Tuesday and certainly triggering a short squeeze in US equities to new highs overnight. The uh, S&P hitting 23.71 and the Nasdaq hitting the 53.50 region. Very impressive. Okay. In terms of uh, fundamentals for the uh, European markets this morning, let's just quickly go over them with you. Uh, overnight, nothing really of any major importance, although some Chinese data certainly came in stronger than expected. Uh, in terms of uh, private loans, nothing really majorly market moving. Uh, services uh, sentiment in Europe certainly improving. Confidence improving, industrial confidence, business climate all improving as well. Uh, also, um, in terms of US data, we've got Europe, durable goods orders uh, just coming out right now as I speak. Uh, no, actually, I've already come out. One second, let's just quickly refresh them. Uh, bring up the data for you. Bear with me. Okie dokie. Okay, so U.S. durable good orders as we uh, as they come out. Okay, sorry, it's uh, it's actually at, at uh, three a bit. Three, three p.m. is the pending home sales durable goods actually coming better than expected uh, on the uh, year on year basis. Durable goods orders, ex transportation actually coming slightly weaker. But the durable good orders generally have actually come in slightly better. We have pending home sales in the Mr. Kaplan, Dallas Fed uh, Manufacturing uh, Business Index as well. Uh, and then we have the Kiwi Imports Export data later on in the evening. Okay, now in terms of the European session, really it's the onus is on, it's all about the uh, the US fiscal policy. That same old trade certainly seems to be uh, in motion, okay? And it's been motion since um, prior to Mr. Trump. Okay, now in terms of European indices, let's just look at the actual uh, te technical setup going into US markets. Now, we're certainly holding that gap fill support from Friday's sell-off, okay? 60-minute chart on the German DAX here. We've bounced off that uh, key 200 MA. Uh, we are looking at a potentially a, a lower high here, okay? So all eyes on there. Now, bear in mind the US equities certainly have ramped higher regardless, okay? Regardless of European equity market weakness. So from my perspective, uh, in order for this HNS formation to play out on the German DAX, you are looking at a potential rally up to, say, 61, 55, 75 even. So again, it's the right shoulder isn't in yet. I'm not really comfortable with the right shoulder being in at this juncture, okay? So until US equities start to start to fold and start to show some weakness, then the European equities can certainly follow. So bear that in mind, okay? Uh, ultimately, your aim would be the gaps below, okay? Uh, multiple multiple gaps below one of the big gaps that we have here is uh, currently at 10,766 so just bear that in mind and I'll keep an eye on that right shoulder on the German DAX okay and it certainly has the ability to move higher now we do have two unfilled gaps again you've got a gap at 11,950 you've got a gap at uh, 11,900 so again those two gaps certainly need to close first before me before I even attempt to uh, potentially uh, agree with the uh, bearish argument especially given the fact that US equities ramped to new highs overnight so just bear that in mind We've certainly closed the gap here, so gap fill, previous resistance equals support. You are looking at support down here, and here these two levels are certainly going to hold. Uh, but from my perspective, you're certainly looking to ramp higher towards that gap, okay? Looking to gap fill above. Okay, now in terms of um, the uh, alternative indices in Europe, let's bring up the CAC, okay? Uh, the French CAC at the moment certainly is being helped by Mr. Macron potentially cruising into the second round, okay? Uh, French yields certainly have started to fall, bonds started to pick up. OK, therefore, obviously, increasing confidence there and a surety in France. So again, that can certainly negate any bearish arguments going lower. OK, daily chart at the moment does still remain weak, though, to bear that in mind. You've got a bearish engulfing candle. 60 minute chart at the moment has held. Has held 50 percent, 50 percent previous support equals resistance. But as we all know in this market, uh, the short squeezes are powerful and very quickly. So don't be surprised if the French cat goes back up to 4915. 
Okay, certainly do not be surprised. That's what I would say. 10 minute chart at the moment, you are holding support in this region here. Uh, ideally, the next potential support would be uh, down here at 4806. Okay, on the 10 minute charts, so bear that in mind. Having said that, if you take the pivot low to the pivot high, you are looking at a support 50, 50, 56, 61, and 75%. So 4830, 4820, certainly looking to hold. For now, previous resist support equals resistance. The French CAC certainly suffering uh, due to that. Okay, so you are looking at potential resistance of 4870 and potentially higher if you continue to squeeze higher on US equities. It will certainly take the European equities with it. Okay, just bear that in mind. Again, don't be overtly in the bearish camp. Just be careful. Also, in terms of the FTSE 100, that the uh, bottom uh, bottoming tail certainly helped on uh, on Friday. Certainly is looking to potentially put a low in the FTSE for now. 60-minute chart, the FTSE, I was expecting a potential bull flag formation higher, but uh, insurance companies certainly hurting the FTSE today, okay? Insurance companies certainly hurting, although having said that, commodities remain strong. Uh, copper's doing well, gold's doing well, oil's doing well, so it's very hard to justify a potential real sustainable sell-off in the FTSE at the moment. Again, I was very surprised with 719 in the FTSE on Friday, to be honest. I actually bought that dip and I got stopped out and then I attempted to go short and I got stopped out, so... Uh, a lot of whipsaws last week, but nevertheless, that certainly is the status quo. Okay, in terms of the uh, FTSE, you are looking at resistance around this region at 7270, 7280. If we do potentially go higher, then again, 7290, that's the zone that you really want to be short. And that's the zone that I will certainly look to short the FTSE 100 as well. So just bear that in mind. In terms of the 10 minute chart, on the FTSE, you've closed the gap, looking for a potential pop here now, looking to 7270, potentially higher. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, on that note, please be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.